بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الطلب الأعزاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وأهلا ومرحبا بكم في هذا الجزء الرابع من المحور الخامس لمادة نظرية الآلات والذي بعنوان كام ديزاين Let's see here the motion analysis of the follower So the most important thing in cam design is something called SVAG diag diagrams. So S mean position, V mean velocity, A mean acceleration, and J mean jerk. This is an example of SVAG diagram. It consists to plot position velocity, acceleration, and jerk versus cam angle. So it is the basis of cam design. Here we have the diagram of the position. Here we have diagram of velocity, diagram of the acceleration, and finally the diagram of the jerk. Let's see uh, RDFD, cam design. It means rise, dwell, fall, dwell, cam types. So motion is between two dwells. Here we have the low dwell, and here we have the high dwell. And between the first one and the last one, we have rise phase and the fall phase. The most naive cam design is to simply connect points using a straight line here here okay especially in dry rise and fall phases so rise and fall with a constant velocity here so it includes if we can see here if the position is like that it includes here for velocity between low dwell and rise uh, and uh, rise phase here we have suddenly increasing for uh, velocity here suddenly decrease for velocity and here too and velocity is constant here for all phases so here in this region it includes infinite acceleration and also infinite or it is called also infinite square uh, uh, inf uh, jerk. This design, so infinite acceleration and jerk here, this design is not acceptable. Is not acceptable mechanical cam program. As a fundamental law for cam design, one basic rule in cam design is that this motion curve must be continuous and the first and the second derivates, that's mean velocity and acceleration of the follower, must be finite, even at the transition points. Thus, the jerk must be finite across the entire interval. Let's see here for simple harmonic motion. Sine function has continuous derivate. If we take here the position function and do the all derivation, first derivate, second derivates, and third derivates. We can see here acceleration is this discontinuous to pass from maximum to mi minimum. Acceleration is discontinuous, this is bad for design. And also jerk here is infinite, it is bad cam design too. General procedure here for design is to start with continuous curve for acceleration and integrate. Here we have a continuous function for acceleration. We integrate to the velocity. Since the velocity is equal zero at theta equals zero, we can find out the first constant related to the velocity and then we can find out the position function. Here we have, we can see the continuous acceleration function we integrate first integration for to find the velocity second integration to find the uh, position function we can remark here after derivation of the acceleration the jerk function is continuous and finite 
let's see here to completely define the function of the position we have to find out the k2 constant since the position is equal 0 at theta equals 0 then k2 equals 0 here since the position equal h at theta equal b then we can find out the h and the c constant here and position velocity acceleration and jerk are fully defined this equation for a cycloid cam has a cycloid displacement than sinusoidal uh, acceleration so this cam design is valid and follows the fundamental of law fundamental law sorry of cam design uh, says jerk and especially so uh, velocity and acceleration are finite and also jerk is finite for all the period but the acceleration and velocity here are higher than other functions 